Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to open a new financial year in free accounting software. So the process is different whether you've got a Bassoff hosted um, business or a um, local file. Most of you have got local files, um, so uh, but I'll show you the Bassoff hosted um, way of doing it first because um, it, it's really quick and simple and it also applies to local files. So um, just going into this um, business is, in fact, there's really nothing you need to do when it's a hosted um, um, business. All you really need to do is change these dates. So uh, on the um, My Business Details page, there is a financial year start date and a financial year end date. You simply want to change that to the next year. There is also a ledger close date and what that does is simply give you an error message if you try to edit a transaction prior to that date. So it's a, a nice thing to put that forward because that will prevent you making accidental changes. Um, moving that date forward does not um, uh, stop you from moving it backward again later. So you know, you might even want to do this each quarter after you lodge your bass um, to, to, you know, prevent um, accidental, accidental changes of, you know, periods that you've finalised. And then, you know, later on when you are, you know, doing your tax return, you realise there are some changes to make, you can just reopen it. Okay, so once you've um, updated those dates, you click save, and that's all there is to it. Um, I should also say that yeah, these dates are used in um, as default dates in things like the the profit and loss income and expenditure reports. But one place they're used, which sort of um, can sort of trap people, is if you go to your activity statement list, it it, it doesn't actually ask you what um, dates to list this for so um, it, it has it just takes those dates from the um, from the my business details page so if you are um, you know doing an activity statement list and it's not giving you new activity statements for the new financial year um, it could be because you haven't set those dates in the uh, my business details page and that that detail of what dates it's using is hidden by default so it can confuse people. But anyway, so basically that, if you're using a Bassoff hosted um, uh, business, then that's all you really need to do. So now with the local files, it's a little bit more to it. Um, so I'll go into that file and, um, and um, show you what we've got here. So what would happen is you've, you've entered your you know transactions throughout the year. Most people are, or a lot of people are sort of focused on payroll now with single touch payroll. Um, but it, it applies to all the transactions like the sales and purchases as well. So, um, so in this one I've, you know, processed um, some payrolls up to 30th of June and I've also got a 31st of July um, payroll in there. So the point here is that um, you don't have to be so clean about doing this in that you get everything up to 30th June and it's perfect and then do your rollover. Reality is that, you know, you've got to issue invoices, you've got to pay staff and you might not have finished off everything in the prior financial year. So you just go on with entering the um, transactions uh, and once you get to a point where you've um, finished off let's say most things in the prior financial year, you might want to um, um, open the new financial year. So to do that, you go to the My Business Details page and you can see you've got these dates here again. Uh, but instead of just changing these dates, you click this Open a New Year button and you change the dates there and then click save as new file now it doesn't sort of pop up with a 
um, place to save the file because it does save it internally in its own sort of um, downloads folder. Um, so, but if you go to your list of um, businesses, you'll see that you've actually got a new one there. So you've got a uh, 2022 financial year one, as well as the 2021 financial year. Okay, so if we go into the 2022 one, which is the new one, and go to the batches, you'll see that you have the July um, transactions and batches there, uh, but you don't have the um, June and prior financial year things there. And I guess really the main point of doing this, uh, opening a new um, financial year thing, is just to keep your file manageable. So instead of building up heaps of prior year transactions, in there you're just sort of clearing them out. Um, the prior year data is all still accessible in the other file. So if we go to the other file, you've got the prior year data there. So, you know, all the transactions to 30 June and including that July one. So if you do this, um, you know, um, year end rollover, um, it, it won't actually change your existing file at all. What it does is it creates a new file and copies your um, the, the next financial year's transactions and batches into that file. Um, the existing file is left completely untouched. Um, and having those, you know, July transactions in there um, doesn't, doesn't hurt at all. Um, it, it, when you run your reports and so on, you just select what dates you want. Um, so it would exclude those um, transactions. Okay, I think that's all there is to know about um, starting a new financial year in free accounting software. I um, hope the video has been useful and thanks for watching.